we have breaking news to tell you about. The Toronto Raptors have fired head coach Nick Nurse. Nurse has served as head coach since 2018, and before that, he was an assistant under Dwayne Casey. The Raptors won a championship under Nurse in 2019, but are coming off a disappointing season in which they failed to make the playoffs. Masai Ujiri, team president, has called a news conference for 11 a.m., and of course, we will take that live when it begins. And for more, we're joined live by TSN Radio's Matt Cause. Matt, thanks for sticking around, yeah, talking to Leafs, to Raptors, and uh, mm -hmm. this is a big announcement, obviously, but we kind of saw it coming over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we really did. It was that weird um, Nick Nurse press conference mm -hmm. after a loss where he intimated he wasn't sure about his future. And it wasn't like he was a lame duck coach. He still had another year left on it. Mm -hmm. And when he came out and said he wasn't sure he was going to take time to reset, I remember that wording was very strange and one that sort of screamed that nothing was set in stone with his future with the Raptors. And at that time, they were still in the mix. Yeah. They, they, were, yes. they, they were guaranteed into the play-in into the play -in game. Mm -hmm. And they could have easily got into the playoffs at the time. Yeah. That team was still fighting for playoff positioning. Yeah, they could have gotten the, maybe maybe not the seventh seed, but they certainly were in positioning at the eighth seed, mm -hmm. and they collapsed late against the Boston Celtics team that was resting everyone. And, and the curious thing here is how much of this is about the lack of the ability to develop the bench? Was Nick Nurse just all about win now, win now, and didn't realize you, st you have to help develop some of the younger players and not play the Siakams, Van Vliet's, you know, 42, 43 right. minutes a night? And part of this also, though, is on Masai Ujiri. I mean, this is a roster that for the last couple of years has had the same flaws. They can't shoot, and they can't score late in close games. Mm -hmm. So we just got this update from the Raptors, and it's officially from the Raptors. And this is what they say. This is an opportunity for us to reset and refocus and put into place the personnel and the players who will help us reach our goal of winning our next championship. Break that down in real English for us. In real English, it's someone had to go. Yeah. And it's probably some of the players are not happy with Nick Nurse. And you know what? Th this happens in sports. A coach has a certain shelf life. They're like a bag of milk. And at a certain point, they are going to expire. At some point, players are going to start to tune you out. Mm -hmm. The bigger picture with the Toronto Raptors is this team needs to find a player who is clearly better than Pascal Siakam. You're not winning a championship. It's nothing against Siakam. He's a great player. He's a legit all-star. But if you want to win a title, you're going to need one guy that is clearly better than him. Look what happened to the Phoenix Suns. They get Kevin Durant. Hmm. Now suddenly they're the favorite. Mm -hmm. Masai Ujiri is planning a press conference in about an hour's time. You talk about player changes. Yeah. Are we expecting any more changes? Maybe not right now, but this might be a change, an off-season full of change. Oh, absolutely. Fred Van Vliet has a player option. He might be gone. Gary Trent Jr. is going to be gone. The team uh, is going to want to resign Jakob Pertl. They gave up a first-round pick to get him. Um, you know, there's going to be extensions very close for guys like OG Ananobi and Pascal Siakam. This is going to be an incredibly busy and important summer for the Raptors, and they got it kicked off pretty early. Yeah, missed out of the playoffs. Besides yeah. the players and the changes that might happen there, where do we look now for a coach? You know, that's a, it's a great question. And, you know, before it was easy to find. Next to Dwayne Casey, the, yeah. great, the Nick Nurse one was a really good story. Uh, you know, at this point, I, what, what I wonder about is do they go outside, you know, their own bubble? Do they go outside the people they already know mm -hmm. and, and go for a relative unknown, go for someone that maybe doesn't have any ties for the franchise? That, that really is the next big question here. All right, Matt Kaus, thanks for jumping in and joining us on yeah. a breaking news from the Raptors. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Yep.